is a low end shot. Um, this is actually a, 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 a poor child who is a, a beggar, and um, I believe a homeless orphan. Um, by taking a low end shot of someone, you sort of strip them of power. In this case, the photographer wants you to know that the child is helpless and powerless. Um, and it's a, re it's a really good contrast because we see uh, the child, we're looking down on the child. It's not necessarily, you know, we're not looking down on them as in we think that they are worse than us. It's a way of showing, you know, a, a lack of power or a lack of respect given to this person. It doesn't mean necessarily a lack of respect from the photographer, but it's more referring to their place in the scene and in the world that the, the uh, photograph takes place. And, you know, you see the uh, feet of businessmen in nice clothing walking past them, um, which is a good addition. Um, and again, um, this, is, this is sort of matching the situation to the angle. This is a way of using the angle of the photograph to accentuate, uh, to explain the situation of the subject. And then, one more angle. Eye level. Okay. Um, in this photograph, I actually read an interview with a photographer. He says that he wanted to show the people, so that in uh, the Soviet Union, there was a lot of either uh, dramatic photographs of, of the workers, you know, from the, either very low angle shots of the workers, you know, all marching off to work that made them seem uh, very iconic and this like powerful structured workforce. Or there would be these, you know, giant sweeping uh, low angle shots of all the workers working and that made them seem uh, pathetic or like slaves. And he said that no one was treating them like people, he was treating them like objects. They were treating them like uh, symbols rather than. You know, I'm, I'm not paying attention to the fact that these people had lives and that these people, you know, were real and, and lived. So he chose, he comes to the school. Um, if you'll notice, the camera must be only three or four feet off the ground. He chooses to place it directly in the eye line of the people. So eye level means quite literally the camera is completely level with the eyes of the, sub, of the subject. So if someone's taller than you, you're going to have a hard time shooting an eye level photograph. Someone shorter than you, you're going to have to get down a little bit. Um, what an eye level photograph can do is, I mean, in this case, uh, justify, it can justify people, it can humanize people. Um, an eye level photograph, in, in many ways, symbolizes equality with the photographer. Um, there's a very conscious, there's a, there's a, um, there's a great awareness of the photographer. Uh, of the pres presence of the photographer with an eye level photograph, especially because the person is often looking directly into the camera. Um, and it shows, if you shoot a photograph at exactly eye level, it shows that there's a communication between the photographer and the subject, and it shows that the photographer is neither revering, you know, putting, putting the subject, uh, you know, respecting them more than themselves, and they're not looking down upon them or pitying them. It's trying to place themselves on an equal level as a human being. Um, there's a movie that's famous for this called Housing Problems. Uh, it's a very early documentary. And it's one of the first movies to shoot people in their own, uh, own homes and sort of uh, justify them very simply. Uh, it's about, uh, in the UK and Ireland, um, in, the, uh, in the earlier 20th century when there were uh, problems housing the poor workforce. And what they did uh, is every shot of the movie is a still shot and they would have the person sit down in their own home, and they would place the camera, and then they would, uh, they would make sure on the tripod that it was exactly at eye level with the person. And uh, it would be a wide shot, or a long shot, um, of the person within their own room. And this, that's actually, the movie actually made um, that use of the eye level shot very popular. I mean, obviously, people have been using eye level before then, but, um, that, that movie actually sort of encouraged that usage of it, in case you're here.